Hello to everybody. I'm Rafael Banyak, also known as Eddie. I'm the studio director of Evermotion. Uh, today I will show you some of our stuff. But before I will start with all the craziness we do at Evermotion, I will do a short introduction because, uh, as far as I know, lots of you, we are our customers. You know us only from the, uh, from the models. And actually, we are a studio, so we hire CG artists. And we don't sell only models and on the stuff you see uh, on the screen. We also do a lot of projects, commercial projects, not commercial projects. Uh, everything you see behind me is done in-house, actually. So we're hiring like uh, 16 people right now. All CG artists, all journalists are working 3ds Max and V-Ray, of course. That's what we have. Uh, we also use lots of other tools, so everything that can uh, make our life easier. We use it a lot. Uh, our projects that we do not for, for selling, I'll uh, show you some of them. Uh, mainly, we work as a subcontractor, so lots of stuff we do actually we cannot show you. Uh, if you are a gamer, you probably recognize some of them. So Gears of War, Darksiders too. So we have done a lot, all, all these environments we working with companies like uh, Plastic Works from Australia. We also do a lot of, uh, lot of environments for, for movies. We work with Platish Image from Warsaw. It's one of the biggest company uh, in, in CG Studios, actually, in, in Poland. Uh, we also do a lot of stuff for IKEA. I cannot show you, but uh, at least I can, I can tell you that we, we can do, because uh, we're working with them few years already, and yeah, they say this year you can talk to people that, yes, we're actually working together. So, yeah, woohoo! <laughs> you, you, can, you can laugh. Come on. Come on. Okay, we work for IKEA. So, every catalog you see, it's Evermotion work, actually. <laughs> so, if, you, if you're working, uh, you have a company, you have projects, you can call us. We will work for you as well, so we are open to any, any business you, you want to do with us as well. But remember, we work only from 8 to, to, uh, to 4 the day. And that's, that's really that's something that we, we, we like, that we don't do any after hours. Uh, yeah, some clients are calling us like uh, almost 4, let's change this, this and this. And I said, okay, but uh, tomorrow. What? What are you doing after 4? Come on, we are leaving. Yeah. yeah! With door machines, we are people. <laughs> we have fun stuff to do, not only the chairs and etc. Okay, let's come with the, some of the workflows we do at Evermotion. Uh, yeah, you see some our pipeline and some, uh, some turbo for the cola, <laughs> if you know what I mean. <laughs> uh, actually, I might disappoint you, there is no some perfect uh, workflow that we do. Uh, every artist uh, has its own workflow at Evermotion, at least when it comes uh, for our projects, for internal projects, for all the stuff we do. So, yeah, we use, we use them a lot, also if for, for the scenes, so that's a part of the workflow, actually. And so, every, every artist has a free will, actually, so we can, as long as he uses 3ds Max and V-Ray, he can use he can do whatever technique he wants, and as long as, uh, long as it looks good at the end and doesn't take ages to do, at least 10 work days is okay for a scene. Uh, he can use whatever tools he wants, whatever new tools he finds on the web, then share it with other, and we can do use them as well. So, but at least I need to show you some workflow, okay? <laughs> Uh, references, yeah, that's actually, I will use uh, two scenes, interior and exterior. One of the older scenes, but they, these are scenes that I made. And usually I do a lot of paperwork at Evermotion, so it's a long time that I actually done something to this Mac, so at least I know those tools because I made them. So, first thing, references, we use a lot of references, actually. We, we have some architects at Evermotion, but most of the artists uh, that we are hiring are self-taught, so they 
don't know much about architects, but so, but they're artists, so we are using lots of references as an inspiration. That's our actually the start for everything. Okay, interior and exterior. Actually, uh, the first thing that I'm doing for every scene, every project, is simple blocking. You can use the reference as uh, on the background, so you can match it if you want perfectly. But usually, I don't do it. Just to something have you know, just to see, just to have something nice. It's okay. So blocking the scene, some simple lighting, and yeah, there. Are also, I'm making it as, 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 as simple as possible. So, probably uh, for interiors, I'm using uh, one uh, HDR map in the environment and put some, some, lights, uh, some lights in the, in the, in the windows. For exteriors, I'm always, always using sun, very sun, very sky. It's, it's work, so why, why making it complicated? Uh, I saw many times that people making some mistakes by uh, rendering all in white, for example, and then changing like floor, make it dark, or so you have to to do some think about uh, talk about uh, things uh, about how how the end result will look. So if, if you're walking with uh, green walls or something like this, just put the green wall and start when you do when you do the the first renders. Okay, next one, next step. So, lots of models, arc models actually. We are using lots of our stuff for these things. So, we can uh, concentrate more on the lighting, uh, more on the details. Uh, like here, for example, I can spend you know, two hours with some thing <laughs> to make it more, more realistic because I have lots of other stuff already made and just put it in the scene. Uh, Floors, we, do, we use generators for the floors. We use as much scripts and mass generators as you can. So, next thing. So, it's already all the, all the models are inside. Uh, and that's a cool part. The uh, uh, script is called Zorb. I don't know who wrote it, but he's a genius actually. <laughs> and I'm using it a lot to organize everything the scene because, in the end, yeah, I'm also responsible for checking every scene that artist made inside Infomotion, because at the end, uh, there's a lot of mess in the scene, so some standard materials, other stuff, and you can, everything you can see in the Zorb, actually. It's all the modifiers, all the materials, all the mess is in this window, so I can check it, say, come on, you have lots of standard materials, what do you do? Go back, change it. Materials, yeah, I, don't, I will not talk about much of working with the materials because, yeah, it's, it's obvious. Uh, here you can see notes, actually. <laughs> I don't use this kind of uh, material. I use the old school, uh, but it looks better in the presentation, actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm the old school. Okay, lightning, lightning. Like I said, for interiors, if I want something like uh, soft shadows, I use some HDR maps and put some lights in the windows, portals actually. Uh, for the exteriors, for the exteriors, I have like very sun, very sky, but here is two extra lights only for this scene. That's why I choose it. Uh, the one direct light is only to get some get some better uh, speculars, extra speculars on the on the trees actually. And the second one, it's only for the caustic, for the uh, for the pool. It's yeah, it's very very uh, very efficient. So you make and include with nothing in the scene. You change some parameters of the of the of the light to generate caustics, and actually put it the light only on the on the pool, and you generate caustic only there. It's very efficient. It doesn't affect anything else. It just generated caustics, whatever you want it. Actually, all, all this, all this, uh, sorry, uh, all the, all this making of is on our site for both for both scenes in details. So you can also see the rendering settings. Uh, actually, there are also not uh, some special rendering settings for the scene. For interiors, I'm using Radness Map, 
uh, and light cache for the exterior's brute force and, and light cache, and that's common for, for every scene, actually. If there are problems like bugs, then you can put more effort in the, in the settings, but the, the standard uh, thing works very good. Okay, let's get to the point of new fields in the ArcFist, because at the motion we often uh, experiment with new products. So we're not only in models, not only in scenes, we try to give you something more to, so you have more time for you, actually. So we are not selling products like I to, to tell to, to the clients, actually. We are selling time. So you can have more free time just using our products. So one of our newest things are animated trees. Yeah, I know there are lots of, lots of generators, lots of stuff that you can generate trees, then you can move them around and, and animate. But actually, it's, it's another tool that you have to buy or you have to use, you have to know, actually. So the idea, all the idea, actually, about the, our products is like put it in the scene and just hit render. You don't have to, to, new, to, to, to know anything else, actually. Just put it in the scene. Uh, the idea about the animated trees, yeah, we, they're, they're not, not so complicated. Here's a quick workflow. Uh, we're using for the medium poly trees some bend, some noise on the, uh, on the, uh, on the leaves, and just back it to the point cache, and it's, it's all uh, looped. So you can put lots of those scenes, uh, a lot of those trees in the scene, and it will work quite well. So another one, another one, complete interior scenes. Yeah, that's the idea that came actually from our clients. Yeah, because lots of things we are, uh, lots of presentation for the clients like furniture, like lamps and all the stuff you have at home. So the uh, producer of, of those things always want to put it in, in some room that actually it looks like a part of, of your flat or, or something, not on the white background. And we often for this project used our scenes, but it was like yeah, one scene for one camera angle, if you move the angle, too much, there's nothing there. So we came to the idea maybe we should make, make a complete scene so we can sell it, we can also use it for, for, our, for our projects. Uh, you can also use it for VR actually because it's complete. You can put it on the goggles, use it for your project. You can dance with the camera all, all over the place and it always will look good. So you can change the furniture, put it from, from actually from the client and do whatever you want with it. And the same idea was for complete house projects. Uh, it's a bit heavy scene, actually. Uh, all, the, all the stuff around the house is, is made. So you can throw the house, you can put your house, you can, all the interior in the house are complete with all the models. So even if you don't want to use it as a scene, it's very, very nice thing for models collection because you have a lot of models inside the scenes. So one of other experiments is what's next? Product presentation. Yeah, a lot of people asking us uh, about uh, scenes that we use for, for our models presentation. So we do some renders of the, all the models and just put it as advertisement. And we have a lot of asking, come on, put it as, as well for us, sell it. That's why came the idea of, of this presentation. Actually, those scenes are still work in progress. Uh, we will sell it with all the assets you, will, you see right now. Yeah, the guy who's working on this, on, this, on this one is very talented, and he's, he's doing a really great job with the rendering, but yeah, I, I need him for, for all the stuff, so it will take long because, uh, before we finish this. But yeah, the scenes are really beautiful. Okay, next one. Unreal Engine, yeah, that's something that we are really proud of. Uh, I think we, we, we was the first company that put on the market uh, full, uh, 10 already uh, full scenes uh, in Unreal Engine interiors. Uh, right now, what you see behind me is a work in progress. So the new scenes is for upcoming interiors. 
Uh, we have also working on some exteriors. Of course, new models may be game ready in the future. Right now, only for visualizations. We have also a separate team working only in Unreal Engine. So today is lead artist. Come on, guy, stay up. So he's made all this. He's the, the genius behind this. Yeah. It's really hard work because the yeah, Epic Games is still developing the, 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 the tools. And yeah, every month we have like, check your old content because the new version is here. And mostly it doesn't work. So that's a lot, lot, of, lot, of, lot of work with this. Uh, like I said, we're still developing it. We're still trying to make it as, as good as possible. Uh, what you can see now is yeah, it's maybe a few steps behind V-Ray, but you're working on it to, to make it as good as possible. It's, uh, I will not show you any pipeline right now because not, I'm not an expert, and only he is. Uh, it's still a lot of job, a lot of, uh, lot of work. Uh, it's not like you put some models and you already have a scene. It's still a lot of baking. Like, like you know, like, like if you work on the project, like animation, you have to render. This time you have to bake a lot on few machines for, for all the night and you come up to, to the morning and yeah, it's still, still working or it crashes or etc. because yeah, it's still in development. But yeah, the guys are making a really good job, so I think it's looking pretty nice. And last but not least, photogrammetry, also our child. <laughs> I love all the models the, the guys do at the motion. And everything you see, actually, it's actual stuff. You have to put it in the, in, the, in, the, in the studio and make some photos. So we have really fun when, when all the food was in the studio. So they have to check it, and then, yeah, they have to eat it. Uh, we already put some of the models in the market. Uh, so all the food you see behind me uh, is already uh, online. Uh, there are also some, uh, also some post-apocalyptic uh, models as well. Let's talk about a little bit of the workflow. So we use Agisoft, as you can see. So lots of photos for, uh, for every, every piece we are scanning, at least 40. If you make more, then it's, it's like more details. And then everything goes to Agisoft, actually. So computing, computing, computing. Then goes the hard way, actually, the hard work, because we need to uh, import it to, we're using ZBrush to clean, to clean the, the wires, actually. It's a lot of, lot of work. And yeah, it takes even one day to, to clean up uh, one, one piece of tree or, or something like this. So. After that, uh, after that is UV mapping and goes to back to Agisoft for texture baking. We adjust the textures, of course, in Photoshop a little bit, and at the end, put in the V-Ray in 3ds Max and do some renders, of course, and voila, we have something like like this. And this is actually uh, the scene which will be part of uh, the upcoming Arc models. We will put it, as, of course, as a bonus. Uh, everything you can see right now are 3D scanned models. So this will be our models collection. Coming soon, it's almost there. And I think that's it. I was fast. I was fast. <laughs>